Oh man, that was, that was brutal. Oh no, can I even go back to, I think I just literally dumped everybody on YouTube. I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh my gosh, sorry YouTube. <laughs> Hold on for one second guys, cause we now have this like random other stream I gotta go fix. Oh no, it's still, no, it's gone, okay. Oh shoot. Um, okay, hold on one sec. We gotta, I gotta completely fix this whole thing. Oh, geez. I hit the wrong button and completely hosed this. Oh man. That was, that was what we wanted. Okay, we'll get this fixed. Sorry guys. Oh man. I know for a tech stream, that was a big fail. Um, yeah. We'll get it, we'll get it back. Gosh, darn it. Wow, that's brutal. I just lost a lot. Okay, it's all good. We're gonna get it fixed and get everything back in here. I'm getting all the details back in, sorry guys. Hopefully the fine folks over at the other thing realize what's happening because they're like, what happened? Because I hit the, I, uh, it's the error thing sometimes does that. And so, yeah, dang it. Okay, well, I got to save that other one for posterity. So we'll keep it up there and go from there. Yeah. Hold on, guys, we're, we're getting it fixed. It should be pretty close to back up in just a second. Okay, there we go. We're back. We're getting there. Okay, all the details are back in there. Back up to, we're getting our getting our numbers back up. Oh man, I had three, we had so many people in the, in the chat already. Oh, that blows. Uh, night, okay, so what happened? So people want to know what happened. So there's a thing that I use on my, on my, on my uh, on my PC when I stream my iPad to my um, my computer, it's called Airstream. But what Airstream does is it full screens, and the only way to get out of it is to Alt F4. But if you don't have the right thing in focus, it will close something else. Well, what it closed was uh, Streamlabs. So then our chat, everything just went down. And the thing is, is the way that my streams work is uh, it's pointing specifically to certain videos. So we had you know. A thousand plus people hanging out in that uh, YouTube um, and then now they all just got basically they just basically got dropped so hopefully they'll come back yeah Alt F4 strikes again and uh, I'm back everything's good um, but yeah that that blows so <laughs> there we go let's start with a dad joke let's cheer it up I told you man today's just a weird day but it's gonna be fine okay um, out of all the inventions in the last 100 years the driver race board is probably the most remarkable. <laughs> I like I I was a little afraid of reading that and I was like, am I gonna get this? But uh, that was from the Keiki. Uh, the Keiki. That was a that was a good one. Yeah, that was a, that was a good one. The remarkable. <laughs> uh, okay, what do you give an alligator when it's ill? What do you give an alligator when it's ill? Gatorade. Gatorade. <laughs> Those are good. Okay, that made me smile. That made me smile. Okay, we're getting our numbers. Hey, thank you very much, Silver Bear, for the ten dollars. I appreciate it. Well, let's get our numbers back up. Sorry about that, guys. If you're coming back from YouTube, hopefully you figure it out and you come back and you enjoy this. Yeah, those are the dadliest of dad jokes. Okay, so uh, let's see. We have two more subs. Let's get these last two subs and then we'll go through the build uh, here real quick. I'm still trying to fix the 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 stupid thumb. There it is. Okay, the thumbs there. Okay, um, so going to channel videos. Okay, so we're good, we're live. I feel bad for the people who got dumped, but hopefully they'll come back. And we have 684, oh, 395, so the numbers will slowly climb. We got 684 over on YouTube though, so that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, sh uh, let's see, is there something you guys would recommend on how to flash BIOS for 5,000 series because I'm building a PC with one. So ways around, if you buy it, um, so I have a couple of videos that I've done um, that show people how, uh, uh, that has show people how to um, do that. 
Um, it just depends on the build. I mean, depends on the motherboard. One thing I will say, if you're building a PC with 5000 series, please make sure that you have the ability to flash back your IO, your, your BIOS, and that is a specific setting. So if you wanna go and ask in our tech in uh, up on Discord and verify, um, we can look into it, but there are, there are certain motherboards, and I learned this the hard way, I didn't know this with all X570 boards, that um, yes, there are motherboards that don't have it, and then you could build a complete built custom water cool PC and find out, hey, I gotta take it apart and drain it because I need to put an old G, uh, CPU in it. So yeah, there you go. Um, thank you very much. Let's see what else other questions or people. Did you get the streamer from yesterday working? I did. Um, we do not know how to make it sync with the other ones, but talking with the customer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to a solid color. So he'll have all solid colors for the streamers. You guys will see the pictures tomorrow. There was one cable. Um, I'll give you guys a little, a little, uh, little background on that. We had one, the USB hub on that is not working. So I had to order a USB extension cable. That's supposed to show up from Amazon today around 845. I got to replace that. Then the build will be done because then I can use the, I can actually change the screen on the IO and we'll change all the colors, but everything else is all hooked up and ready to go. It is all fixed and, and, and good to go. It weighs so much. It is so heavy. Um, but yeah, that would go from there. Okay. hundred, hundred subs. That's awesome. Um, so I see, okay, this motherboard does it. Roby, uh, you can solder them together. Wait, oh, the board I have, I'm using today doesn't? I'm gonna open this because that would not be good. Because we'd have to basically, that's gonna change everything. Oh no, I didn't even know, I didn't even think about that. This is like a $600 board. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna verify that this board has a flashback bio setting. I'm verifying, hold on one sec, I see a button. I see a button, sorry, we're just gonna check this real quick. This has clear CMOS. Clear CMOS, and that is it. Yeah, yeah, this does not have a BIOS flashback button. Son of a dog! Well, that's great. Do we know if this one will boot into the, I mean, this is a little bit easier because we're using an AIO, which is good, but yeah, that sucks. Um, yeah, this does not have a BIOS flashback button. So, hey, great example of Glad we looked um, because that's going to change how we're going to have to. So we're going to have to bread. We're going to have to breadboard. Uh, we're going to have to breadboard this build. I mean this this uh, motherboard before we uh, before we uh, put it in the build. So hey, new new step. We should probably get building here pretty quick. So yeah. Hey, it's okay. Uh, we caught it before. This is why we have uh, tech specialists who I probably would have like I would have gotten to this. So anyway, we'll put the motherboard together, uh, connect it to a uh, power supply real quick. Uh, throw another CPU in it um, and uh, throw another CPU in it and then quickly get it flashed. So that way we can uh, make sure it works before we uh, finish the build. This one's not as bad because it's using an AIO. AIOs are a little bit, AI AIOs are a little bit, uh, you know, easier to go. But that just, shoot, that just shows right there that, hey, even if you have a freaking uh, $500 motherboard, uh, it may not have all of the options. Uh, like that. So yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, be flashbacking that BIOS right there. Um, awesome. No big deal. We uh, luckily we can do that before we get the board done. Uh, easy to flash. Yes, Crosshair. Any the ASUS ROG. Every ASUS ROG bug board does have it. So we do know that. Hey, it's fine, guys. We got it. We got it all squared away. We know what's going on. So what does BIOS flashback do? That's a great question. It's not called BIOS flashback for everything, but BIOS flashback is kind of a feature and that's the one that we kind of bucket in. What it allows me to do is with the PC off, I can basically plug in a new BIOS, hit a button on the back and without having any, you don't even have to have a CPU in the socket, it will flash the BIOS without having to worry about it. Without that, you have to put an old CPU, an old Ryzen CPU in, flash the BIOS and then then replace it with the new BIOS, which is kind of, which is kind of a, a kind of an issue. So we'll show you guys that. You guys will see that in today's stream here in a minute. Let's reset the giveaway. Let's go to the next giveaway, um, and then we'll uh, we'll do the uh, we'll do the next one. So, um, how are we doing on likes on the uh, on the where is it uh, sub goal? How are we doing on likes on the YouTube video? 
Okay, 150 new egg gift card. Need 150, we're at 100. 12, 17. Okay, starting that. Uh, the Asus Tough Series, I, I'm not sure. Uh, now it's like one of those things that I, I wish I knew right off the top of my head. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't have all of that information, guys. So we'll go from that. Uh, how's the hype train going? It's done. Hype train's done for the first part. We won't see it for another hour. Uh, the X570P, no, that one definitely doesn't. Just like the X570 Prime doesn't. So definitely don't do that. Um, so who won the hundred dollars? We don't, okay, guys, so the way the giveaway works is it uh, escalates. The more subs we get, the more that giveaway is. That giveaway is at the end. Um, if, oh, I, I guess I didn't tell you that. So let me, let me take a step back. Let me explain giveaways. It seems like a good time. Um, number one case recommended though from zero eight, uh, I would recommend the P500A. That is my 2020 case of the year. Um, second was the uh, uh, TD500, and then the third was the Landcool Mesh 2 from the release of this year. Um, my second favorite case is still the P600S. Um, okay, so giveaways. Let me explain how this is going. We had two of them, the Hype Train. Hype Train is if we get two Hype Trains, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe drive uh, here on the show. If we get 800 likes on YouTube, we'll give away a uh, 250 gig NVMe drive, which we probably are probably already passed. The last thing is the giveaway that you see there, the $50 new gift card, $100 new gift card, $150 new gift If we get 50 subs, it becomes a $50 new gift card. If we get 100 subs, that becomes a $100 new gift card. If we get 150 subs, it becomes a $150 new gift card. If we get 400 subs, it becomes a 3060 Ti. If we get 550 subs, it becomes a 3070. If we get 1,000 subs, it becomes a 3080. By the way, we won't be doing dual 3070s anymore. It'll become a 3080. And if we get 2,000, it becomes a 3090. Now, we gave away two 3070s on Saturday. We gave away a 3060 on Friday. So that tells you more than likely we will hit those goals. You guys are amazing, amazing supporters of the channel, but that's how the giveaways work. We don't, they don't, they stack. They don't, they don't become like, I give away 50, I give away 100, I give away 150. They, they grow. And then whatever's at the end is what we give away at the end. So uh, I, somebody was asking about lowering the quality 720p. I don't know why I can't do that. So I it's I I just stream to I just stream to uh, I just stream to Twitch and Twitch does what it does. I don't know why it's not letting you. I, I don't do anything to do that. So um, it says yeah. Somebody's saying affiliates can. I'm only an affiliate, so I don't have the option of letting you do that. I wish I could, but I don't. So somebody's saying that from there. I apologize. You could go to YouTube if you want to, um, but that's that's just something you can't do. Okay, so. I think with that, we should go ahead and get this build done. I'm gonna go grab a 3950X or some other older CPU so that way we can flash this, uh, this thing. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna grab a, not, I have a lot of, these are all Ryzen 7s. Okay, here we go. We got a 3950X right here, cool. Let's use this. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. This is open, right? Yeah, okay, go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. One second, my sister's writing me. Okay. Now, let's get this done. Now, here we go. Uh, to, this chat is all, um, so here we go. Let us, we got a 3950X, so let's go ahead and grab our board. Let's go through the parts of what's going in this PC today, so that way people know. So starting at the, the center of this PC is the Ryzen 9 5950X. Uh, the Ryzen 9 5950X is a 16 core, 32 thread uh, CPU. This is currently the <clears throat> king of CPUs uh, across basically both um, Intel and uh, AMD. Um, just because, and probably one of the hardest to get right now. Um, they did have some in stock today. They instantly sold out. Um, but yeah, these are uh, absolutely monsters. It's been awesome to be able to get some of these and put these in some of these commission builds. But this is the CPU he is using uh, for his uh, thing. Now, this is mostly, uh, he is doing, and he'll be a, a bur uh, just quick question um, for uh, Berniard. You can talk to him. He's doing specifically, this is mostly for work. This is not for gaming. Um, so he's gonna be using it mostly for PC work. 
Um, so this is more of a workstation PC than less than a gaming PC. So if you have questions, you can reach out to him. He's Bernie Art on Twitch, um, and he's the one who we're building this PC for today. So there's that. And that's probably, you'll get the idea because when we talk about RAM, uh, he's using 128 gigs of Trident Royal Z uh, Ryzen uh, RAM. So it's not, he's, you know, you can definitely tell this isn't like some sort of just, just for craps and giggles. This is 128 gigs of RAM right here um, at, uh, at uh, basically uh, right there. So yeah, we're not even using, like he's, he's basically definitely a workstation when you're using that much, that much RAM. For his storage, um, we've got, uh, we're gonna be putting in one of the new Western Digital Black SN851 terabytes right here. So this is, these are recently released. If you watch the build Friday, we have a giveaway for a PC that we built specifically for this. You're gonna have a link for that uh, showing up pretty soon. Um, we have a PC for a giveaway for this. This is going for another week, I think. So we got that giveaway plus the Cyberpunk PC giveaway that is currently happening. But yeah, great, uh, great NVMe drives, uh, super fast, as fast as the uh, new SNA, sorry, the uh, Samsung 980s uh, that just released um, and higher rated, which is pretty awesome. And then finally, uh, he's got a two terabyte 970 Evo Plus uh, that he's also throwing in there um, for uh, just basically general storage. So there's those. Uh, and then uh, let's see, uh, for motherboard, and even though it's expensive, uh, it is not 5000 series ready and nor does it support flashback, but this is the MSI Prestige X570 creation. This is a big freaking um, motherboard. Um, I think it's actually EATX, got a bunch of VRM solutions. Uh, their creation series is probably one, again, one of the ones that usually for creators in terms of it has a lot of things like extended heat sinks. Uh, it's got pre-installed 10 gigabit LAN. It's got gen four. Um, it's got, you know, core boost. It's got heat pipe design, all that sort of stuff. Plus it's got M.2 expander, which comes with it. So if you want to throw in more drives, you can plug that right into PCIe and use that as well. So, and it's got a crap ton of IO, um, on the back as well. So there's that. For power supply, just because we're using a 3090, uh, he's got a thousand watt uh, EVGA Supernova G3. Uh, this is a thousand watt PSU at gold, 80 plus gold. So fairly efficient, uh, should be good in terms of his overall power and being able to do anything with a 3090. So should be good there. Um, something that he worked a lot on uh, was the uh was this because it's an all white build so he wanted to make sure he had a white aio and so the white aio like at first we were trying to do uh the galahad which was pretty much impossible to get um and then i, I recommended him doing the h100 the new um capellix but he really liked the look of this particular AIO, so this is the uh, the uh, Deep Cool Castle 360EX. I love this AIO, it's got a really cool design in terms of the RGB. Um, and then at the same time, uh, for fans, we're gonna be replacing these because I know they're not RGB and we know RGB makes everything better. So we're gonna be throwing nine of these right here, the Lee and Lee Uni Fan SL120s, which will be cool, literally cool, um, and easier to hook up if you watch what I did yesterday. Um, and then finally, the last thing is, is we're gonna just to get it set up, we're gonna be throwing in this ASUS ROG T Tough uh, RTX 3090, uh, just to make sure it's up, boots, all that sort of stuff, get it set up and then uh, he'll take it out and put in his own uh, later on with uh, what he wants to do. So great, uh, great GPU, excited to get to show this off and use this, we haven't got to show that in there um, and uh, go from there, so yeah. It's a, this is a 24 gigs, 3090 King. This is what we use for a lot of our bench testing. Um, and so it should be pretty awesome. So that is that right there. I'm trying to think. Oh, and then finally, just because we're gonna be using a Ryzen 9 3950X to make sure the motherboard works because we gotta flash it first uh, and make sure that it's set up and, and works from there. So yeah. Um, <laughs> that is, uh, that is a nice little surprise. And we're adding that to the build order here today. So who's ready to build? Who's ready to build? Who, anybody excited? Uh, yeah, nine, yeah, nine. We're going to put all nine fans on the single AIO. That's not true. Okay, good. I am. Everybody's excited. Cool. Uh, what is, somebody was saying Asus. What I've always, I've always heard it say Asus, but is it Asus or Asus? or Asus, or whatever it, or what, I don't know what it is, but yeah, we're gonna go from there. Okay, excited a sec. Everybody's excited, that's awesome, that's awesome. We got a lot of people who are excited and let's get it going already. Okay, so let's, first step, so just so you guys know, first step is we're going to put this together, we're gonna, so we're gonna put the 3950X in first, 
Once we put the 3950X, we're gonna update the BIOS, and then once that's done, then we'll take it all apart, and then we'll put it inside the case. So a little bit of extra step tonight, which now has made the build that much longer today, which is fun. So, and that just means more stream time for you guys, right? Okay, here we go. Opening this up and going from there. <clears throat> Woo-wee. So getting out our motherboard, which I already took out once. We just gotta prep it for, I'm gonna take this. Oh, this is kind of unfortunate. So I'm gonna, he wants, okay. So I'm gonna have to just kind of shove all the extra stuff in there. We actually have two things here. So I, I'll figure out what I can do here, but this isn't like the most ideal for, um, yeah, we'll have to go there. Uh, he doesn't need that. That's the expansion card. Let's see what's in here. We're just getting all the stuff out that we don't, that we'll need for the build. Um, MSI true gaming thing. There is, we'll probably need M.2 screws. I'm just making sure I got those. Cool. Um, nope, nope. Don't need those. I think the only thing we may need is we're just gonna make sure we have the screws. Everything else is not useful. Okay. Take that out. Take this out. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Uh, it's unfortunate, okay. And then in here, we have our Wi-Fi. He doesn't need that. And then in here, that's just nothing. Okay, cool. So there's everything he doesn't need. Everything I need out of here, I've got. Put that back in there and put that back in there. Okay, cool. Cool, there we go. Okay, awesome. Now let's take out our motherboard here. There is our massive motherboard. Without flashback, I keep looking and hoping and praying, but we now know for sure that does not. Oh, you know what else I forgot to do today? Forgot to empty my garbage. That's gonna be interesting as well because Hold on one sec, guys. I'll be right back. We gotta empty the garbage if we're gonna be able to have any room to do anything. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there we go. Like got water cooling stuff from the other build. There we go. Okay, now I have room. That's a good thing. Do do do. Kind of spilled everywhere, but no big deal. No big deal. Okay, got it. Ooh. Okay, we're back. We're back in business. Oopsie. I wonder if maybe how much stuff I can fit in this instead. Okay, cool. Whoa, where'd the camera go? Oh, top down went away. Okay, we'll figure that out. Oh, I forgot to activate it. Ah, that would help. And activated. There we go. Okay, now. What happens when you lose your, lose your, your fun there. Okay, so we've got this ready. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our Ryzen 9 3950X here. And just get this in here. So we're gonna take that to a 50, 50, 90 degree angle. So here's our older CPU. Put this in. Again, we're just doing this to get the motherboard booted. Actually, you know what? I don't want to use this. I just realized I want to use, I want to use something that uses the Wraith Prism cooler. Like a seven or something like that. Because I don't want to, I don't want to put on my AIO or anything like that. What is in this? 
Does this have a cooler in it? Yeah, it does, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go grab a different GP CPU real quick. Again, I'm trying to make this easy for me, just so I can get it updated. So I want this cooler, so we can at least get it up to date. There's our cooler that we need. And then this goes the other way, put this back here. Grab my other older, I need a different CPU. And even though the 3950X might be fine, I just don't want to risk it. So I'm gonna grab a different older CPU here somewhere. These are all what? 5800X, 3600, even open. Just drop the 5800X, that seems fine. This open? Yes, okay, here is a 3700X, cool, perfect. Just want an open CPU. Five. Okay, cool. Now I'm good to go. Okay, there we go. Grabbed a Ryzen, grab a 3700X, just because I know I can use the stock cooler just to get it updated. So this is what you may have to do if you happen to have an older board. Um, somebody had told me, and I don't know, I can't confirm if this is true or not, but somebody had said that sometimes certain motherboard manufacturers will give you loaners. I don't think that's true, um, but you know, but I'm not, I don't know, but somebody had said that there are some motherboard manufacturers who will, so um, yeah. Cannot confirm, yeah. I don't know if somebody had said that they, they did, so. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our 3700X real quick. Let's get this in here. Okay, now, there we go, now we're good. So just want to, and somebody might be asking, well, why did you switch? Well, the 3700X, the 50, the 3950X is basically based on, um, based on AMD's recommendation requires an AIO um, versus the older 3000 series. You could actually get by with using a, um, a stock cooler, like a stock cooler. The stock coolers were always in, included in the, um, in the box. So like in this case, we actually have a stock Wraith Prism cooler that we're gonna use to do this stuff. So it, if you can fail, like sometimes you can not get lucky with the silicon lottery and I last thing I wanted to do is like ruin a 5950X, uh, sorry, a 39, whoops, my, came off. Ruin a, um, sorry if you're hearing a bunch of crackling right now, I'm putting the pop filter back on. I wanna ruin, I don't wanna ruin a 39, uh, 50X just because I didn't cool it appropriately. Okay, so we got our CPU in. What we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna go and throw in a RAM and then I'm just gonna get the board completely prepped and then I'll breadboard it um, and uh, go from there. So nothing too fancy, but it might as well uh, pop it all in. So we're gonna pop this all up like that. There's our little slot in the PCB right there. You can watch me do the install here a little bit better of this. There it is right there. We're gonna just take that little slot and pop it in just like that. And there we go, nice, quiet, quiet. You'll hear like a subtle click. Um, and that's how you know that things are good. Oh, there we go, click. Oh, it's quality. And remember, this is 128 gigs of RAM in this case versus, um, versus uh, what you guys usually see with like 32 and stuff like that. So it actually is more RAM in this case uh, than in other cases. So there we go, there's our other one. Click! Whew, so quiet that click. Um, and there we go, last one, 128 gigs of RAM. And then, uh, yeah, just one thing about it is like sometimes you'll actually hear like a delay in the, uh, a delay in the click, and then that goes over there. Um, yeah, there it is right there. That delayed click, sometimes it's just weird how that 
sometimes they'll pop up so late. Okay, 128 gigs of RAM there right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bigger cooler, stock cooler real quick. I don't need to worry too much about this. I'm just, it's, it's already got, it has no thermal paste on it. So I'm gonna throw a little thermal paste on this real quick just to get it by. There we go. And we don't wanna to be too, like I'm little, I'm not as worried about spreading this out or anything. I just need enough. And what, the reason I'm gonna spread it out is so it doesn't become so messy afterwards, but I'm just gonna be enough to kind of get it, get it so it cools. I'm just gonna put it in the middle part of the IHS for now. Remember, this is not to keep. This is just to last enough to, enough for us to flash the BIOS real quick. There you go. So this is what you would do if you do not have a BIOS flashback feature. More education from Roby Tech. Do not please understand this is not what you would typically do for your, for your board. Yes, I know the thermal paste isn't even. Again, this is just a breadboard. Or bench test bench or breadboard or depending on the term you used to why is this not going in i'm fancy if you thin oh sorry yeah youtube sorry about that guys forgot we reset everything so some i'm being reminded that i need to turn on you i need to turn on slow mode one sec guys i'm gonna fix that real quick Okay. Oh, monetization's off too, crud. Okay, I'm gonna enable that. And I'm going to turn on slow mode. Okay. And edit. And then go to my live chat. Okay, slow mode is now on. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool, slow mode's on guys. So now we're good there. What we're gonna do real quick is just quickly install our, yes, uh, somebody was asking if I saw the cool, yes, we did see the cool M.2 expansion slot. I'll show it off here in a minute. I'm just trying to get the, I love my techs, they're good, they're good people. They're just letting me know all the stuff, which is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna make sure this gets on here. Actually, usually better to do it from this direction. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly install our stock cooler here. Okay, we're just getting this stock cooler on real quick, guys. There we go, okay. Stock cooler's installed. Okay, there we go. And I'm not worried about it being, you know, crazy. I just want it enough. Now, one of the things they were talking about, I'm just gonna show it off, is this thing actually comes with a cool, and I'll show it off real quick and then we'll get back to it a cool expansion card that if you wanted to, it allows you to install, uh, allows you to install more. So this is a M.2 expansion card right here. And it allows you to install, I think four, it might be two or four more M.2s into your, so yeah, you would just basically take this off and then it's got, oh, two more. So you can do two more, check it out, you can do two more M.2s uh, on this board, a lot like the DIM.2 that is up here for um, 
when I installed the Asus on the Asus one from yesterday. So it's just a cool, that's usually some of the stuff that you start to get when you, when you buy like higher end motherboards like this. Um, and so that's just like, they wanted me to show that off because it's a pretty neat little feature of the motherboard. And one of the reasons why it cost what it cost uh, to, uh, to purchase in this case. So there we go, get that reclosed here. Maybe, All right. there's only one way to. Uh. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, that was that's a pretty neat little feature of the motherboard. Okay, let's get our M.2s in real quick. So we've got two that we're gonna do here. We got some peels here. So let's get all our peels off. It's like a fan of peels. Let's zoom out so you guys can see the peels here. Okay, first and foremost, we're gonna peel this one. Oh, look at that. There's one. Whoa, there we go. Boom, there's two. We got more down here. There's that one. All the peels. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Oop. Play hard, there we go. And boom, there's that peel. And we have none on the IO, which is cool. Okay, here we go. So now it's all peeled, all appealing, all done. Okay, now let's open up our 970 here. Well, let's actually open up our whole thing here. Okay, so this is, I've not used this particular motherboard before. It's got more little screws here. I'm assuming to see what comes off here. So I'm gonna remove these. Uh, it looks like you gotta remove it all, geez. Okay, one more. Wow, you have to remove this whole thing. That's crazy, there you go. It's like, wow, take it all off. Okay, so there is all of our, now the whole thing is ready. We're not gonna put that back on, I don't think, until, oh, we're okay, okay, cool. We're gonna put that back on once we get the, uh, once we, uh, before we put the case in, before we put it in the case, it's cool. Okay, let's get our M.2s out. Okay, there's one. There we go. There we go, right there. Next one. It's our nine, our S850. There's our SN850. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our two M.2 screws here. these are what we need to basically get this thing in. Okay, boom. Okay, now we've got that done. Grab these. Okay, so we're gonna stick our eight, or we're gonna do our two terabyte at the top. Okay, we need to move that. Oh, this actually, Does that actually go there? This one is actually gonna hold down via 
I'm gonna see what's going on here, how this works. Oopsie. Okay, so that one's not supposed to come all the way off. It just came off the freaking whole motherboard. Okay, good to know. So this goes right here, and that's gonna hold it down. Okay, and then I'm gonna make sure. I think this is gonna to have to go away. Yeah, we're gonna take this off. There we go. Okay, so that one's gonna get held down by this. And the way that this works, just so you guys know, so again, just showing in here. So there's a little slot in the uh, PCB. We're gonna pop that in just like that. And then there we go, now it's gonna close. Now the cover, this cover is gonna hold that down. Um, this whole thing wasn't supposed to come off, but it did. So we are going to, we're gonna not deal with that. Okay, so now we have the SN850. In this case, we're just gonna slot that one in. It goes right above. There we go. And then we're gonna grab our little screws here. Put that one in. There we go. Okay, that one's in. Then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna peel our, peel our, there we go. Put this over. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, just for the right, just to make this easier. There we go. Okay. Put this in. There we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our plate back on. You line in all the holes, there we go. Okay, there we go, that's in. There we go. One more screw after this. Okay, there we go. All of our M.2s are now installed. These are gonna be, we're gonna put in a little baggie for them so it doesn't, these don't get lost. Put them in the little box. Now, we are basically ready to quickly breadboard this. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. To be extra careful. Right, lift this up, put that like that. Now I am going to, just to be simple, let me zoom out real quick. There we go. Now this doesn't, if I had an APU, that would have been a whole lot easier, but I don't have an APU, so we'll have to do it with a GPU real quick. Luckily I've got my Handy dandy, very small, 30, 2060 Super. Okay. I'm gonna grab our 2060 Super real quick. Okay, so now we are ready to quickly do an update for the BIOS. Got some water. Okay, let's go to here. We're gonna grab our 
CPU. Real quick. I mean, sorry, PSU. Get this open. Oopsie. We don't need that right now. Okay, so all I need out of this is I need our big pin. We'll need our big one. We'll need a VGA cable. And we'll need a CPU cable. Okay. We're going to quickly. Open up our PSU here. There we go, we got our PSU. Get to that later. Okay, so we got our PSU out. I'm gonna top down real quick. Oh wow, look at that. I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. So, weirdly enough, I haven't seen, I mean, it's not a bad idea, I just haven't seen it before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hook up our power key out real quick. Okay, there's that one. We're gonna grab our VGA. Or sorry, CPU. And this one's gonna go right here, CPU one. We'll plug in our CPU one. Then lastly, quickly hook up our VGA. Okay. And we need one VGA, which is fine. We're gonna stick this into VGA one. Oh, there's VGA one. Okay, cool. Okay, so now this is ready to go. So what I'm gonna do real quick. And again, people might be asking, what the heck are you doing? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that this, C this, mo this motherboard does not support 5000 series CPU. So we have to basically get it to a bootable state so we can, so we can uh, flash the BIOS real quick. And then once that's done, then I can then finish Replace the, I'll take the CPU out in here uh, and then replace it with the 5950X and then we can move forward. We just need enough to get it to boot. That's what we're doing right now. So you guys are seeing essentially what you'd have to go through if you didn't have a motherboard that supported the BIOS flashback. All right, so now this PC is, this is like, you now have a fully functioning PC right here on the desk. There we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my little monitor here and a little monitor needs to get plugged in here. I'm gonna push this all over slightly. And then we'll show you guys so you guys can see. And this is something that isn't like if you want to really do the right thing when you build a PC, this is something I would recommend doing anyway, um, just to make sure that all your components work because the one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to get it all built and then verify that once you get it all built that it doesn't work. So if you want to just go through that extra step and make sure all of your system components work specifically. Really, the best time to do it is if you're gonna do a custom water-cooled build, is you would do this beforehand and then make sure that everything works. So you're good there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this and this. We're basically, whoa, whoa, what happened there? Sorry, guys, that was weird. 
Okay. Okay, we're just getting everything set up. We can quickly do this. Basically, we have an outside of the outside of the workbench bench right here. Okay, now there you go. Everything's ready. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is grab our critical components here. I'm gonna plug in LAN under the hopes that I might get lucky and this allows me to do update via LAN and just download it versus having to do the whole thing. But we'll, if not, we can grab it on a USB and go from there. Okay, so PC's ready. The other thing that's really nice about this, look at the top down, something that is good about this particular board is it has a power button built in to here. So we're gonna just turn it on like that and then we're gonna turn on the, the whole thing. There we go. see if we can get the boot there. Giving it a second, still going through its initial post, which could take a little while. You can see all the post codes down here, just going through all that stuff. And on long, on larger, on longer motherboards like this, like this is where there it goes. It's just started, just posted. Here it comes up. There we go. We are in. Okay, so we are in. I'll see if I can get you guys captured so you guys can see what we got. So we can see we got 128 gigs of RAM. And there we go. Now we're going into the. We're in the. Hopefully, come on, come on, work, come on, work. There we go. Okay, so now we're in. Let's check and go to F7. Go to M flash, see if it, let's see, we're gonna reflash this. You guys are learning. This is what, this is what you'd have to do if you, uh, if you had to do it the other, if you didn't have, uh, if you didn't have a card like this, like you didn't have a, uh, a system like the, uh, sorry, uh, uh, you didn't have flashbacks. We're going into flash mode now. Hopefully, okay, so no, I have to download it. Okay, so now I gotta download it. So this this board's really, really doing me some good right now. Okay, so this is the MSI X570 Creation. Gotta download the, gotta actually download the, uh, X570 creation. Yeah, X prestige. X570 prestige. Let's do prestige X570 creation. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we are. Let's go to support driver. Oop, no BIOS. We don't want the beta version, so we're gonna download this one. Okay, opening this. Okay, here we go. Copy. We're gonna put it on our USB drive we've already got here, full of BIOSes. MSI X Prestige. X570 creation. So we're just copying this now. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, let's pop this in here.
retry. Okay, here we go. There's our creation right there. There, oops. What the heck, where did I go? There we go. Yes. Okay, now we're just updating our BIOS. And here's where we wait. Now, one thing I'm going to do before I do all this stuff is I'm going to, before I put this inside the case, put the X5, put the new 5950X in here and reboot it up and make sure it works before I then put the whole thing together. So, yeah. So, appreciate you guys being, being here. Who's learning stuff? Who's never seen something like this before? This is like all new to them. You're like, hey, this is cool. Who's having... Um, who's who's having fun? Who's enjoying this? Cool. Awesome. Good. Good. All the new folks. Okay, so I will, while we're waiting for this, I'll go ahead and give you guys the, the dissertation because we have almost 3,000 people here. Welcome to Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building, obviously. Uh, tech news, tech deals, and all that sort of stuff. I want to say thank you very much for being here today. Happy Monday. The show usually happens Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 6 p.m., uh, we're sorry, starting at 5.30. This week, it's a little different. We're cramming it all in. So we have a show Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And all of these are builds. We have some really special builds, some Christmas builds, and all that sort of stuff. I do want to let you guys know we do have some giveaways that are happening on the show. I bet you, if I looked, we probably have the YouTube one already. Uh, if we get two uh, hype trains here on Twitch, uh, those happen once every couple of hours, uh, then we'll actually give away a 250 gig NVMe drive if we get to level five twice, which we, we usually always do. You can see we've already, we've done that once already. We get 800 likes on YouTube, we give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Uh, and then finally, you see that big one down there, that $150 new gift card. That is basically, that is a growing, uh, growing giveaway. Uh, it starts at $25, and if we get to 50 subs, it becomes $50. If we get to 100 subs, it becomes $100. If we get to 150 subs, it becomes $150. If we get to 400, it becomes a 3060 Ti. If we get to 550, it gets a 3070. And finally, if you get to 1000, it becomes a 3080. Now, uh, those, are the, those are the giveaways that are gonna happen. We do that, the, that particular one will happen at the end of the show. Finally, we have the sub only giveaway, which was for the month of December. We're giving away a 3060 Ti, a 3070, and a 3080 to one lucky Twitch subscriber. Well, three lucky Twitch subscribers. And the way you get in on that is if you're over on YouTube, head over to twitch.tv slash Robitech, uh, you, or you're over at newegg.com slash, uh, sorry, twitch.tv slash newegg. Come on over to Robitech, use your free Amazon Prime subscription. That free subscription will get you access to the sub only giveaway. Now, if you wanna get extra entries for those things, all you gotta do is uh, basically you can donate subs, which is a great way. Uh, if you go to tier one, tier two, or tier three subs, that gives you a ton of extra entries. And then finally, the thing that's awesome about that, that basically gives you extra entries for all giveaways uh, that we have here on the show. And then finally, if you subscribe for multiple months, that gets you extra entries. So those are all the giveaways that are happening today. Uh, and then uh, we also have some giveaways that are outside of the stream. We're giving away that Western Digital PC. Um, you're gonna see links for that showing up in your channel. So that's ending next week. And then finally, we have the Cyberpunk 2077 PC that we're also giving away. And then finally, starting next week, we'll be giving away the, the Carter PC. So you can win as many as four PCs. We have a fourth PC that'll happen the week between Christmas and New Year's. I'm just gonna build it on the show and then at the very end, draw a winner for that. So those are all the giveaways. That's everything that's happening. I hope you guys continue to enjoy. We're still flashing the BIOS. So I figured I'd take the chance kind of introduce you to the channel and let you know what's up. So there you go. The build is your build. In so DW4 Lite, your build is not in process. We're waiting for GPUs to come in this week. So um, we're supposed to be getting those in. That's all I'm waiting for. But soon, DW, I know you're excited and everybody's excited for the builds. Your, G your CPU came in though, which is good. So waiting for GPUs. I think those are supposed to get taken care of tomorrow. Thank you very much for all those Thank you very much for all those uh, subscriptions, guys. And all that sort of stuff as we're getting close to the 150 mark. I, I So uh, if you wanna know about stock for Newegg, if you wanna know about buying cards, um, I know I forgot the ice, I, I'm sorry. If you wanna know about buying cards, I just released a video on that. The best place is to follow their, 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 uh, their social channels, guys. I know Newegg has been, uh, no, Newegg has been, uh, Newegg has been uh, updating that stuff uh, pretty regularly. You guys can see here we're at about 50% right now uh, for the uh, for the update. So we're almost done. We're getting close. 
yeah, I don't want to rush it because then it would brick the board. So it's just being patient. Thank you very much, Matthew, for saying that you're glad I'm going in there. No ice ice, baby. That's right. Um, yeah, thank you for the posting the video chat. I know uh, CMR1121, I have also been waiting since that long. So I know people are getting them. So that's going from there. Uh, let's see what else is going on there. Seeing some other people. Um, uh, there's a couple more subscriptions, which is great. Just seeing other questions. Uh, why is your t-shirt collar stretched out? I don't know. I don't know why my t-shirt collar, it just is. Sorry, just is. It's just a t-shirt to go with the hoodie. That's all it is. Sorry, it's stretched out. I'll, I'll find a less stretch one next time. Um, we're just waiting. We're waiting for the update to happen. So that's what we're waiting for right now. Let me see the PC. A PC, if you guys want to see what the status of it is right now. Here it is in... Uh... Oh, nice. Congratulations uh, for getting your thing. Uh, I, when do you think older GPU... I don't think they ever will. I think that older GPUs will sell out before they drop in price. It doesn't make any sense to do that. Um, are all the 56 XT all BIOS updates? I, I don't know if 5600 XTs are BIOS updated or not. Um, I don't know the thing. Um... How do I commission a build? So people are asking how I commission a build. Right now I am completely booked through the month of December. I have some openings in early January. Um, basically the way it works is you head over to Discord, uh, DM me, uh, we'll have a conversation about it. But uh, I've been kind of slow in terms of getting them. It's been much harder to get 3080s. Um, and so I've been waiting to fulfill the 3080s I have, like DW for Life was like, dude. Um, so we're going to them. What are you going to eat? Uh, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I've been, I've been on a kind of a like a, Buffalo Wild Builds, like um, um, hot wing kick as of late. Uh, so you're gonna do your last stream before Christmas is Santa suit? No, because that would be very hot. So no, I will not be doing that. Um, how do you subscribe with Prime? Uh, there's usually the people put deals for how, how that stuff happens. Yeah, I like hot wings, those have been good. Uh, are you playing anything good? I'm playing Cyberpunk. I'm playing Cyberpunk. I am actually waiting, I so I have, the build, I'll try and show it off later. Uh, this stream is probably gonna go long because of this brick boarding. i uh, sorry, bread boarding I wasn't expecting, but uh, tomorrow or Wednesday, I will show you guys the final build, uh, the final water cooled build that I did um, where I have, I had to do this very same thing to get that up and going. So um, yeah, uh, that's what's been taking me so long because I've been waiting for that PC to get done, but really get into Cyberpunk. I'm liking Cyberpunk. I've been playing it on Series X, which isn't obviously the best experience right now. I know that they're releasing a patch on December 21st, I guess, which adds all the Series X stuff. So I'm kind of waiting for that, but I'm gonna go to PC. I mean, I have a PC specifically for it. So um, yeah, try playing. Yeah, I don't wanna play that on that, yeah. Uh, 3060 Ti or 2080 Ti? 30, 2080 Ti is still better. 3060 is if you care about DLSS, but even a 2080, I think a 2080 Ti DLSS is still better than a 3060. That's a tough choice. It really comes down to ray tracing. And then again, it's like, I don't know if that's good. I think a 2080 Ti is still better because that's a 3070. Oh, Intel for the win. No messing like this. That's not true. If you, uh, you will, we will do, we will be doing this for Rocket Lake. So I would not say that. Um, D no, but DLSS 2.0, which works on the 2080 Ti, is much, much better. Yeah. Dad joke time. Yeah, uh, let me see if I can get to it. Looks like the BIOS update just had it happened, so let's read a quick dad joke. Whoa. Trying to get to it over this thing. Um, uh, no, uh, so Honored was asking, hey, do I recommend using the expansion over using the onboard? No, because um, if you, it's much easier for you to use the expansion later on if you want to add more drives because it'll be much harder for you to take this apart and put the, uh, put the onboard in. Um, let me see what I got here. Let me look at my dad jokes. Okay. What do you call a snowman temper tantrum? What do you call a snowman temper tantrum? What do you call a snowman temper tantrum? You call it a meltdown. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was from the Keiki. Um, why shouldn't you write with a dull pencil? Why shouldn't you write with a dull pencil? Because it's pointless. Okay, so we are good there. This looks like it's booted. It's ready for its next set. Um, we're gonna shut this off and go from there. Okay, so now the next step is everything's good here. Um, we're going to quickly turn this off and we're going to replace 
the uh, CPU real quick, just make sure it boots, uh, and then we will uh, move forward with our build. So we're gonna just slightly take this apart. This is unplugged, yes. There we go. There you go. So one thing we're gonna quickly do, for the sake of sanity, go to top down so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to undo this. There we go. Now these can be, when you are going to remove the stock cooler, in this case, you want to be very careful in terms of removing it, because it, you can actually rip out the CPU. So just take your time. I don't have a lot of thermal paste on this, so I'm just basically doing enough to get it off, which is fine. And then I'm going to undo this and get that out. Come on, let go of the latch. There we go. Okay, there we go. So CPU is done. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna clean it, put it away and put it in the 5950 real quick and just make sure it boots. Now the 5950, all we're doing is verifying it boots. We're not having to do a BIOS update. We just wanna make sure that it reads. So I'm not worried about overheating it. I'm not doing anything thermally crazy here. There we go. Okay, 3950X, or sorry, 2700X is all clean. Let's just put the top back on this. Sorry, 3700X, that's what we have in here right now. So thank you very much, 3700X, for your service. I'm grateful for what you've done. You've been amazing. Put you away. You're ready for your next, your next adventure, which is later. Because first we're gonna take our 5950X and get that installed and just verify it works. Where's my little... Yeah, we'll use the big one. Little extra steps here today. We don't usually do, but it'll be good for this round. There's our 5950X. I've heard this one before, I love this joke, um, and I'll tell it again, which is from, this was from Peter Walsh. The question is, the, the, the here's the dad joke for you. What is the difference between snowmen and snow women? What is the difference between snowmen and snow women? What's the difference between snowmen and snow women? Snowballs. <laughs> I love that one, that's such a good joke. So quality, quality entertainment right there. Snowballs, a carrot, there you go. <laughs> that works too, a carrot. I was about to take a swig of this uh, rubbing alcohol. That would've been bad. Uh, CPU and GPU prices will not go down until probably uh, mid to end of next year. That's about the soonest. Okay, so again, for this one, we're gonna just gonna throw a little bit of thermal paste on it because we're gonna, we're gonna be cleaning it off. It's got pre-applied thermal paste from the other one. All we're doing is gonna test this real quick. I'm not overly worried about cleaning the cooler either. I just need enough to kind of give it, so we can just make sure it works. Not being crazy. Getting enough of it on so we can. 
Doesn't need more than that right now. Here we go. And all we're doing is verifying that it boots. And yes, I know there's coolant on this, but I'm not worried about it for this part. in terms of, I should have done this the other way. Just gonna make sure it boots. Okay, that's in. Now what we're gonna do is just put this back. Same deal as last time. Pop this on. Grab our EPU. There we go. Grab our VGA. Okay, we're good to go here. Okay, here it is. Ugh. Okay, turning on. Just gonna make sure it posts. All we care about right now. Still running through its codes. There it goes, and we're posted. There it is right there, guys. Okay, so we've got our cheat, we've got our, we, we now know that the, every, the board's good to go, we're ready to, know, we're ready to move forward. Now we're gonna strip this all down and go from there. So we now are good to go. Yeah, it's alive and we're good. Okay, so now we take our, we start going backwards. First thing we do is we turn this off. Put that down. Now we can move forward with the build. Where is my... There it is, okay, cool. Okay, that's ready. So this is what you would have to do if you did not have a, if you did not have a, um, you did not have a board that has flashback. So you guys have just watched me update a BIOS, prepare it for a 5,000 CPU, and then uh, go from there. So, and again, if you also, something that if you ever wanted to say, hey, if I needed to, like you wanna verify all your stuff works before you put it in the case, this is a, another thing that is, Never a bad idea to do um, <clears throat> is just to throw it together like this. Make sure at least, it, you know, put in the RAM, put in a storage device and make sure that things just kind of work before you take the time to put it in, cable management, all that sort of stuff. So that's, uh, it's just, a, it's an option for you and never a bad recommendation. I know a lot of people, Linus, myself, especially on your own PC, if you just want to go that extra mile, before getting too far into your build, a step you can definitely do. 
There we go. Okay. So we'll be grabbing that later. There's the PC. Okay. This can go away because we don't need this anymore. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean off our TPU and GPU. I mean, our CPU and... Again, one of the other reasons I don't stick a ton of coolant on it is it makes it a whole lot easier to get it off of the CPU. Because these can really grip, which is what they're supposed to do. They're not supposed to be used for doing it. There we go. Okay. Motherboard is pretty much almost ready to go. I'm gonna quickly grab some paper towels here. Put it top down. Clean off our motherboard. Get it ready for the next, for the actual finishing phase. What I'm using to remove the thermal paste is isopropyl alcohol. What you're watching me do here. I don't need to be too crazy because again, it's just gonna get more on it. There we go, almost done. Cleaning this one off one more time. It's good to go. There we go. Okay. Now let's put this back on here. That on there. This back in here. This in here, and then we're gonna grab our, there we go. Okay, so now all the old hardware we had, we don't need anymore. Put this stuff away. We'll put these back. And we can move forward with our build now. Yay! It's actually ready to go. We go right there. We go back here. Okay. So now, move forward. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Okay, let's do the next giveaway because we've gotten to 150. So we'll move that up. And then I need to find out where we are on the entries. I mean, uh, likes. We're at 161. Okay. This is a RTX. 3060 Ti, 12. Okay, there we go. How are we doing on likes? Do we know? Over 1K, okay, let's do that giveaway then. Cloudbot, giveaways, custom. Okay, so everybody say thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Everybody say thank you, YouTube, because they are the ones who unlock this giveaway. There we go. Um, okay. Everybody say thank you, YouTube. Okay, so way giveaways work, guys, just a little update. Uh, the way the giveaways are gonna work is we're going to, um, 
I'm gonna give you a command that you're gonna enter here. It'll last for two minutes and then the command will stop. If you spam, if you spam, there is a chance that you will get timed out and that means you will not be able to claim your giveaway. So um, one thing I would just recommend doing is you just only have to enter once. You can do twice just to verify that you're in. Um, and then after that, you don't have to enter anymore. Um, if you, cause you have to, you have to be present and you have to claim in order to win. So if you basically uh, sit there and spam and then get timed out and you can't claim, then you can't win. Um, the giveaway is, uh, you know, and then once the giveaway is over, you don't have to enter the command anymore. Giveaways only run for a very short period of time. Okay. So I'm going to start that process. Now the entry is exclamation point YouTube and we're starting the giveaway right now. Exclamation point YouTube guys. Okay. So that's ready to put this in the staging area. This is going to go in the staging area. At least this board's not as hefty as the, uh, as the, uh, other one. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's get our, let's get our case up here. Oh, geez. So hefty. Okay. We're going to get this stripped real quick. Okay, come on. Should be undone. Maybe not. Come on. This case is being kind of a pain to me. I'm going to take these all the way out then, which you shouldn't have to do, but. Hmm. This top is not. Oh. Ha! Huh. That's interesting. That's not on. Actually, has a button. Okay, we're just gonna put this back in. Oh, that I don't rec I don't remember that on the other one. Actually has a button. Okay, that's off. Okay, taking our panels off. Gonna take our dust filters off. Take our back panel off. There we go. And our box. We're gonna take out our box of accessories. Right here. Okay, there's our box of accessories. I don't have anything in this this time. Put that back. Okay. Now. Okay, let's get our back case off. Then we can get our things installed here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to remove our back casing. You want to be careful here. You don't want to strip it. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Congratulations to Michael Dingwall. Michael Dingwall over on YouTube. You are the winner, Michael. Congratulations, I hope you're reaching out. There are no more giveaways, guys. So you can stop. Giveaway's over. There won't be another giveaway for a little while. Um, let me turn on my my clock so we can see what time it is. We started right around. We started a little bit late because I was just a little behind. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take that off. There we go. Okay. So everything is out and ready to go. Let's go and get our motherboard in. Whoa, Lean Lee DeBauer. DeBauer. We're gonna devour this case. <laughs> okay, let's get this down. Okay, get the top down. What I'm gonna do right now is, I have to do the clips on the other side, but we're gonna put our motherboard in. Oh, there we go, Mobo. 
the working, working everything we know because we test it. There we go, that is in. Boom. Okay. Extra stuff here. Come on. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That is not necessary. Okay, so. He won a 250 gig NVMe SSD is what he won. So, whoa, there's some fan things in there. That was surprising. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear all these out and get this in. Okay, cool. Grab our screws here, which there are nine. There's one, one, one screw, ah, ah, ah. Okay, grab this one. Then what we're gonna do after this, we're gonna prep our fans. Not you, you guys are already prepped, right? You guys are prepped to go. Yeah, this is gonna be a more Stormtrooper-esque build. This will be like definitely black and white. Black, white, and silver, I guess. It's like Kylo Ren. Met an angel. I don't know how else to describe it. Getting our screws on. Getting through the build of fun. Getting through the build of fun. Okay, there's a little bit of a hole right there. There we go. Okay, and that last bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, that is all in. Everything's good there. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and prep getting our fans, and then we'll get our fans installed. So there's a total of nine fans. Can you say nine fans? Nine fans, it's so cool. 3,000 people here today again. Still chilling. Okay. Now let's get our nine fans in here. One thing I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go ahead and pop. Yeah, I know. I ain't gonna fit anything in this case. This case is so much blooming room. Okay, we're gonna go to the side here. We're gonna pop off our case little adap adapters here. There's one, two, and in order to get to this last one, we gotta get this out. And three. And three. Okay, there's those. Okay, so now we can put this down. It's heftier because of the motherboard now, but we can put this down. Herga, herga. Let's do our fans. Yay, fans. Ooh, yay, fans. Everybody's favorite part. Okay, cool. Now, start our fan process. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, ah, that's right, nine fans. 
These are the, the uh, Lee and Lee Uni 120s. There's that. There we go. Is that one? Next one. Oh man, I forgot about that. There we go. Text message. Nope, not a text message. Okay, I'm just gonna grab our pile of. And this one we'll take out and. This is the box that we'll use. The good thing is, is that with this, with the Lee and Lee, you only need one control box for nine, we're actually up to 12 fans, so we'll have everything ready we need here. But what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go ahead and create a pile of fan screws. Because why not? The only, I actually only need two boxes of these, because I will be using the ones for the AIO for one set, so. There we go. There's those. Okay, one more set of fans. Okay, one more set of fans right here. not taped. There we go. The third one of these and there's all our fans. Oh, hold on. Two and three. Okay. Okay, all the fans are out now, that's good. All we gotta do now is get them built. There we go. Got the next one. Luckily with these fans, it's actually pretty quick to get them installed. So unlike like our QL fans or anything like that, it's just a much faster and smoother process to get these installed, so. Okay, there's that. There's our pile of fan cables there. Now what we do is we just get our fans out. There's one. There we go, two, and three. There's three right there. Next one. Next one. You guys are watching me open fans. Fan opening right here. Two, one more than this pile. These are very well protected fans in terms of like the box and stuff like that, so. There we go. One more after this. 
We'll have all our fans out installed. There's that one. One more. Where's our, there it is. Now something else I didn't know about these fans, which as an FYI is actually, something that's actually pretty neat about these fans is that if say for instance you install them exhaust or you were like, oh, I wanna do it exhaust or I wanna do it the other way, it actually doesn't matter how you install these fans because you can reverse the direction of the fans, which is something you can't do with all the other ones. So no matter how you install them, you can make them do whatever you want. So I'm actually on these ones, I'm gonna install them all facing the same way, <clears throat> but in the software, you can actually change the direction. So it'll basically, the, what was exhaust will go to uh, intake or whatever it was. So something pretty cool about these fans that I didn't know about until I was playing with the software that comes with them afterwards. So something pretty neat. Um, yeah, so it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we're just gonna get our three fan groups put together here real quick. Yeah, so it's actually pretty cool in terms of you're like, oh, I just wanna, I wanna have them all display the same thing. It's like, yeah. You just basically clip together just like that and then you just grab your one. This is the only cable set that you need for the fans. And there you go. There's one set of cables done and ready to go. So same thing, we're just gonna do that for each one of these cables. Each one of these fans, I mean. There we go. This side. There's two. One more set of fans. There we go. And number three. Okay, so there's all our fans are ready to go. One thing I am gonna grab real quick, I'm gonna grab one little cable and I'm gonna grab a that a powered screwdriver and just get it done rolling really fast. Really fast like, which is what you want. What you, what you, what you want, what you want. I want this. You want this, that's what I want. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's have all the tools. Hey, Kevin. Mm. Something I just realized that I didn't know this until now, that there's a BIOS update to the cards to access, to allow access to smart access memory for rage mode. Which I didn't know. Yeah, the parts are up to date. Okay. Okay. Just up just FYI. Just letting him know. My uh my my co-worker is currently in there doing all the cyberpunk work for you guys so we can release those those metrics uh on when we have a video this week. So I just realized as I was doing the update, I was like, oh, okay. But rage mode is in there. So he did update it. So he's actually he was smarter than I was. Okay, cool. There you go. Nine fans ready to go. Our pile of fan things. We're going to set these off to the side real quick and get these installed now. Nine fans. Don't need these. Okay. Let's go to cam link. Install our first set of fans. Yay. Now remember, don't worry about the direction, because again, I can, in software, reverse these to do whatever I want them to do. So it does not matter how I install them. You can change it in software. So I'm gonna have all the labels up and they'll all look one way, but it will be fine. Okay. Put this here. Okay. 
We only have to get four in. Cool thing is like once we get these in, they, uh, they're they all stuck together. I am, like some people can, some people, and I, I know this happens every time, people are like, hey, don't forget you only need to put four screws in, but just because we're shipping it, I wanna make sure that we put all the screws in so there's no issue with them shifting when it's shipped. So we're, I'm gonna put all the screws in on all of these to make sure that we don't have any problems in shipping. Yeah, and it's not the most entertaining content, I know, watching me screw fans in, but this is why we did get the auto screwdriver so it's you guys aren't watching me do it manually. Okay, cool. And now, take the auto screwdriver and put them in. Hopefully this is a pretty short process with the auto screwdriver. Here we go. Slowly it comes together. Four screws left, whoopsie. Four screws here left, guys. It's not going in on this side. Just putting these, starting these, because they're being kind of wacky. There you go. Okay, cool. Now we'll finish it with the auto screwdriver. Okay. One more tight screw. Okay, screws are in. Okay, first fans are in. Next group of fans. Ugh. Which is easy. Take out this little bad boy right here. Okay. There we go. Ugh. Okay, next group of fans. Go top down. Hey, thank you very much, Christopher Contrati, for the dono. Appreciate it. Just got the notification on my phone. Okay, putting these right here. These will be the, again, don't worry about it. Like the direction, I'm just gonna make them all look pretty because I can change the, change the direction. There we go. After this, guys, we're gonna prep our AIO. And then, once we get the AIO installed, we're about halfway through the build. Close to having these all in. Okay, awesome. 
There we go, we got nine fans pretty much ready to go. Now we just get to have the fun parts. Let's get our AIO built. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, I didn't do that. Fred. Oh, that's gonna be really hard. It's okay. Actually, it'll be okay. I just have to do it in, in phases. Forgot, this one does include it. Okay. There are those. There's our thing. go. Oh, is that true? I thought it was, I thought if you looked at the, if you, if you, it looks like I, at the very bottom right, when you choose a fan, it shows, right? Is that just the LED? Uh, there's another build, there's another build on, uh, there's another build on, um, not tomorrow. There's another build on Wednesday. Okay, let's go ahead and just be safe then. That's an easy fix. Let's be safe and install these correctly then. That's an easy thing to change. So thank you for catching that early. That'll be an easy fix then. I thought I could change the direction of the fans, but I'd rather be safe and not have to do this after the whole build's done. And you guys really liked me installing fans anyway. Easy fix. Almost done. We just wanted to repeat this process. That's what our favorite thing to do. Don't worry. We're almost, at least it's a fast thing. I hope the techs took their drink. Techs have a rule that if I do it twice, they have to do a drink. Two more. There we go. One more. Okay, cool. Fixed. It's like this. Okay, AIO. We're gonna do this way. The fans are gonna go this way. Yep, that's what we want. Here's our fans on our AIO now. There we go. That we'll need later. That's what I need now.
oops, almost did those backwards. Go, no. Yes, I'm sucking air through this the entire way, yes. Yes, and then I have a single exhaust. one first. At least the one thing I like about these particular screws is that they, um, they're only have to go through the tip. This can be a little bit. That one corner that's always tough. Take some work to get it in. And it's just always just a little bit. And it's just that one corner every time. Whoa, another hype train, holy crud. I was not ready for that. Has it already been two hours? I guess it has been. Ugh. Don't quite line up, do they? Okay, guys, let's get the last level five hype train. Let's finish it out. We can do it, guys. We can do it. Hey, what's up? Thank you for saying hi. Okay. I don't know if these are gonna, this is just like that much. I'm going to get one in. I think these are going to go in, guys. I think the adapter is just that much off. These are li these these little holes right here are a little bit off. Oops, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it in, and it's not something that I can fix. There's just th they're just the holes are that much. Let's see if I can get it just that much over. needs to get whoa why am I coming back oh the power is unplugged that's weird there you go I don't know if I'm able to get these in guys I might be able to. If I can just get one in, the other ones usually come in, but. Yep.
I can't, I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to fix this. There's just not, there's nothing I can do. It's just gonna have to stay screwed like that. It's like, uh, I just, there is, the holes don't line up and I don't wanna break the fans to make it work. They're just that much, the, no, oh, there we go, I got that one in. Maybe it'll work, hold on. Once I get this one in, maybe it'll work. It's not gonna break the fans for it. I mean, it's secured, it's just, Yeah, that one works. Might slowly start getting its way in there. It feels like the holes are just slightly off. Got that one in. This might help it pull in a little bit more. Got that one in. Wow, this is like a miracle. Christmas miracle right here. Level four hype, guys. Let's finish it out. Okay, so just as a reminder for a lot of people who are looking at this, this is the last, if we get level five on this one, we'll get the hype train, the final hype train. There we go, I got it in, wow. Uh, that'll give us a 250 gig NVMe SSD, which is the last giveaway of the show. Thank you very much, Kinder Gamer, for the, let's finish this out. Um, okay, so uh, for those, there's 2,900 people here right now. Those who don't know, we also, reason for gift, for also subbing is, we have the, uh, the sub only giveaway for the month of December, which we're giving away a 3060 Ti, a 3070, and a 3080 to three different subs over at twitch.tv slash robytech. All you, if you're over on youtube.com slash robytech or twitch.tv slash newegg, pop on over, use your free Amazon Prime subscription. You might actually end up with a free, a free GPU because of it. Um, and then the other thing too is that you're entered to win the sub only giveaways and you get extra entries. Oh, sorry, no. If you wanna get extra entries into that, you can gift subs like what you've seen people do. Or you can do uh, subscribe to multiple tiers, tier one, tier two, th tier three. Those get you extra entries to all giveaways. Plus, because you get three extra entries for tier one, four extra entries for tier two, five extra entries for tier three. And on top of that, you also get bonus entries for actually having just going to a subscription. Uh, to doing the higher tier. And then finally, if you subscribe for multiple months, that also gets you extra entries. So there we go, guys. Level five hype train. Let's finish it out. Let's see how high we can go. We're halfway to a 3060. Can we do it more than that? Look, we're seeing all those prime subscriptions come in now. If you want to get out from that, guys, we've got, we've seen 1100% hype. And you guys, thank you so much for all the support you guys continue to give me uh, here during the holiday season and uh, go from there. Oh, Aussie Pete. That's right. Aussie Pete is uh, Thursday. Yes, we, I, I don't, we need to look at your build. I forgot what yours, I think yours was Thursday. I need to go look again. Um, so anyway, let's keep going guys. YouTube is no longer live, what? There's 1400 people there. Uh, you gotta go to the other video. There's two videos guys. There's, it is live. Did you see my message? I have not seen anybody's message on Twitter. I've been busy building the PC. So thank you very much for all those gifted subs. We'll call them out here until we finish this out for two minutes to see how high we can get just in. I love you too, science educator. What do we got left though? Thank you very much, Senpai H1 for your tier one subscribe. Uh, can someone, uh, all channels are live. Yeah, everything seems to be going. Yeah, talk slow. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. You blew your time limit. What are you talking about? Oh yes, Aussie Pete. I know who your I know your build is. I know what it is. I think the thing is I gotta look everybody's the graphics cards got delayed for some people, so we just need to talk after this. Going from there. Hey, mostly Martinez, thank you for the tier one. Six months, that's awesome. Thank you very much for that. Zombie Slayer, thank you for your subscription to Prime. I think it actually is Hulk. If it is, if you're a tier one subscribe, then it, it gets you it. I didn't know if Prime, I, I, you might be right. So if you are, then it is a tier one. I wasn't sure, so I might be wrong. So, thank you very much. A half, 500%. Thank you very much, Fleeble Crank, for that. There it is, yeah, it does work. There it is right there. So it does count as a tier one. So I think they are the same, so you don't, you don't have to worry. I know tier, the way that the giveaway works with the bot I work is if you go to tier two and tier three, it gives you a bunch of extra entries. 
um, as well. So um, I might, I think I might have to change that. I'm not sure. I was trying to figure that out. I thought it, it would jump it up there. So uh, Anto, the giveaway is, uh, there were giveaways. The giveaway is we are giving away two PCs. Anto over on uh, YouTube was like, hey, it's a click, it's not a clickbait giveaway. We actually are giving things away. We're giving away a, um, we're gonna give away a $150 new a gift card. It's giveaways plus. Uh, the clickbait title is, I'm pretty transparent about that we're doing a build. I didn't say we're giving the PC away. 8 p.m. Eastern, okay, good to know. Thank you very much for letting me know that. 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow is another giveaway restock, guys. Just giving it a look, we're at 49% left, 49, 586%. Thank you very much, guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, yeah, so if you are, yeah, their entry for the monthly is automatic. I draw the, we just drew the winner yesterday for December, uh, for November, Drafaz won December. Um, we had two winners for, uh, sorry, for October. Um, one of them was Fuji. Um, so yeah, all of these people are getting their cards. There's no, there's no, I'm not hiding giveaways. In fact, a ton of people just got their uh, winnings just the other day. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, if you have won and gotten a uh, gotten a uh, uh, prize for me, can you do a raise of your hand? Uh, top angle is a uh, it's a uh, A7 Mark III. So if you have gotten a gift giveaway for me, uh, let me know. Raise your hand. I know there are people here who definitely have. So there you go. Burn FPS has gotten one. One GPUs. I won GPU codes, but I didn't get it. What? How do I move up tiers? You can just go and go from there. Uh. You sh I won. There you go. Bud, Bud won. There we go. Some uh, Mugsy won. So you're seeing people what kind is, yeah. There you go. Game Pass Ultimate. Somebody won Game Pass Ultimate. You didn't get your Game Pass Ultimate code? You need to talk to... I mean, I know we've given all those away. Hey, Burn FPS got an NVMe. So there you go. Oh, you did. Oh, okay, he did. I won 439s. Yeah, right, Sablefish. I did get them. How do we enter? Okay, so anyway, there you go. There's people who've given their, gotten their codes, gotten their giveaways. Thank you very much again for all of your support, guys. Green Smoke, thank you very much for the five tier one subs. You guys are incredible. Um, and oh, Filth Pig won a, a, a year, a month of Game Pass. So there you go. Yeah, people have one and going for there. Okay, so let's get our let's get our AIO installed and uh, keep going. Thank you very much for the hype train. We'll do that giveaway right now. Since I'm here, we're stopped. All widgets. Okay, so everybody say thank you, Twitch. Everybody say thank you, Twitch, because Twitch unlocked this one. Giveaways, custom. Okay, so again, for giveaways, the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna give you a command. For two minutes, that command is gonna be active. All you gotta do is enter once. You can try twice just to make sure. You do not get a confirmation. If you spam, you could get timed out, which means you can't claim your prize. So don't spam, just enter once. At the end of two minutes, I'll tell you when the giveaway's over. You do not need to enter the command anymore. I just run giveaways during these short moments. So. Starting that giveaway right now, the command to enter is going to be exclamation point Twitch, exclamation point Twitch, because it's Twitch who unlocked it. So exclamation point Twitch is the entry code and starting that giveaway right now. Two minutes, guys. Yeah, let's get our AIO. This is gonna get put over here for now. I do need to put in our bracket for the AIO. I forgot about that. Ugh. And install our AIO bracket real quick. Ugh. Okay, let's take this out. There go. There's that. Now what I need is my little posts. For here. There it is. This is the AMD bracket. We'll be using later. And we'll need these. Okay, let's put these in. There's that one. And that one, okay. Next up, last two. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, and last one to put in here. Okay, congratulations to Justin, Justine 67 nl Congratulations, Justine 67 nl You are the winner of the 250 gig NVMe SSD that we're gonna be giving away. So congratulations, Justine. Or J, no, just me, sorry, just me. Sorry, just me. Uh, I'm trying to get the get hand up. She pulled it before, and that was my fault. Uh, congratulations to Just Me, Just Me, 67NL. Congratulations, Just Me, 67NL. You are the winner of the NVMe SSD. So congratulations, Just Me. And you will be getting that prize next month. Okay, there we go. Putting these away. I'm just gonna get the stuff out that I need for this now. These are all the for the CIO. Okay, what we're doing right now is we're just gonna get all the stuff out that we need to actually get this installed now. So I don't need that. Okay, here's the stuff I need. I need these four things. I need these four things. Okay, everything else goes back in the bag. Intel we don't need, we don't need that. We need this stuff. We will need all the cables, but that's not a big deal. Okay, now that is done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install our AIO, get that in, get that screwed on, and we'll put it into the case. So just pulling this up. Okay, going to side camera so you guys can see. What we're gonna do here. Okay, getting all this stuff unscrewed so we can Run it through its cable stuff. Okay, there's that. And the only other thing I want to do is I want to pull this stuff. This is the RGB. Okay, and then I want the ASUS RG1. Okay, this is gonna get run through here. It's pulling all the cables through that we need. I'm trying to think of, that's the only cable on this, right? And then there's power. Oh, that's it. Okay. Everything else I don't need. Okay. So let's get our AIO installed. The only thing I want to run right now, put this down. I want to run these up here. And, oh, you need to stay in here. There we go. Okay, there we go.
Now luckily, these are pretty easy to install. Nice light. Okay, one more right here. Screwing in the, there we go, okay. AIO is now in. We're just gonna kind of pull it, finish it out. Get our other screws in. Nice, easy system here. There we go. Getting closer. Okay, three more screws and then the AIO is in. Like all of our fans minus the bottom fans are installed. Just gotta get our AIO mounted. It's always kind of a challenge here with these particular AIOs, but we'll get it done and we'll be good to go. Just because these, uh, the way their brackets work. It's not my favorite in terms of installing the I.O., but, um, ugh. Yeah, we're gonna keep this from swimming around. There we go. Okay. Okay, going back to top down. So I wanna find, the bottom is how it is, right? Okay, it's like this. That is our bottom right there. Okay. Okay, what we're doing right now is we're installing our brackets. As you can see, thermal paste is pre-applied. You know, it comes up a lot on this question. is like, what about the thermal paste that's on there? Okay. One more bracket, screw, and then we gotta do it on one more time at the top. Okay, last one. And the way you know which direction these go is because they're inverted so the screw heads go into the... Okay, now the last part. I do, I did that, didn't I? Yep, I really just, I installed this upside down even though I checked it. I want this like this, don't I? Wait a minute, where, where's, I want it like this, don't I? I think I just installed this backwards. Looking, what I'm looking for is the shield inside. It tells me the direction. Come on. 
Yeah, there it is. It goes like this. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did it backwards. Jeez, Roby. After all that, guys, I totally installed it upside down. Well, I just wanted to practice. Gosh darn it. Rip. Can we get an F in the chat for that? That was a fail on my part. I don't want to lose the screw. This is like the most awkward thing to hold, guys. Thank you very much for the. Thank you very much for the support, guys. Can't believe I checked it and I still got it backwards. Okay, put it the right way now. Okay, that one's in. Let's do it again. Yay. Because everybody enjoyed that. After this, guys, we hook up our front panel connectors. We're gonna quickly do our fans, which are actually pretty fast in this build because our fans only need one connection per pair, which is pretty cool. Okay, there we go. There we go, one more. Now it's right, I think. Watch me do this, I've done this wrong twice. Okay, that is correct. Now what we have to do is we have to get one, this is always the hardest part of this build um, because this, the way that this AIO requires is that, okay, I might, oh, that might've worked, okay. It needs one screw to get the other screws up. Okay, that worked. As you tighten it, the other screws come up. There you go. And then, oh, shoot. Really? No, really? Get that other screw that just flew out. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Where'd that other screw go? Give me that other screw. Oh, it's way over there. One of the things that's nice about having something like a magnetic screwdriver. And reach long distances. Okay, there we go. Now, this is not, there's not a lot to tighten. This doesn't tighten that much. Okay, AIO is in and installed now. Cool. Okay, now for cables, they're very small in this one. You have one for your CPU, then you have your, 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 uh,
RGB. And that's it. But not a lot of cabling like the Z73 that we plugged in the one yesterday. Okay, let's put this down a little bit. Okay. We're gonna take our CPU fan, plug it in right here. Okay, CPU fan's plugged in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my RGB here, plug this in. <clears throat> I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this like this and then shove everything else in there. Okay. Get in there. Thank you. It's kind of being a pain in the butt. Okay, cool. There we go. There we go. And we'll tighten this. So we're going to zip tie a couple places on this to keep it in there. Zip tie right up here at the top. Keep it clean. That'll stay nice and clean now. The first of our cables are now being hooked up. Okay. Okay. Pull these ones through here. Okay, now, at this point in time, AIO is pretty much hooked up, so we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Not a lot to it. <clears throat> now we're gonna flip this over, put all our front panel, uh, get all our front panel connectors kind of plugged in. And then, it's basically GPU and PSU, and then we turn it on. You just gotta buy, the, <clears throat> the rest of it's actually pretty easy. One thing I'm gonna grab real quick that I have here, is we don't, we are gonna use it. We have, do we have two? I think we do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one more of these. <clears throat> and this is gonna keep us from having those big bulky other cables out. So I'm in the front here, I'm gonna take these, and these are special cables for the USB 3. Plug these in and run these through here for now. We don't have a big bulky thing popping out there. These will run that. Makes it a little bit cleaner. There we go. Okay, so that's all clean. Now we can just turn over, do our fans, and do our front panel connections, and we're getting super close on this build, guys. Over halfway at this point. Urgh. Okay. So, we've got these two things right here. And the easiest thing about these two things, so what we have to plug into is right here. There's that one. And this one goes right here. Okay, let me go ahead and figure out. Does this have USB-C? I think this one definitely does, right? Yes. So there's our USB-C, which we should run through the top for this one. Okay. 
These are not necessary. So what I'm gonna do real quick for the ones, all these SATA, put this up here. This is all for the fans. It's all stuff we don't need to worry about right now. I'm gonna run, this is our front panel. So we're gonna run this down to the side. We're gonna run that one up. It's running, okay. What is this? Okay, HD audio. Run this down the side. I'm just trying to figure out the direction I wanna run some of these things. Now this stuff right here, this is all stuff that I'm not that we're not gonna use. So I'm just gonna zip tie it up. And this is all the SATA. Do you wait, it, let me verify. Do you need any of this hooked up? The SATA stuff hooked up? Can you let me know on Discord real quick? I'm gonna check Discord. Do you need any of that hooked up? Um, Okay, somebody's saying reset sub goal, read super chats. Oh, what, huh, I can't, I, what are they? I need to know them. Can you, can you tell me them? Text is the best. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just, I'm just checking Discord to see if he needs any SATA drives. Okay, he's saying two. Okay, so we're gonna take two of these. We're gonna take this bottom bay and plug in. So the top bay, we're gonna ignore. So this one, we're gonna take these two. There should be two here, or is there just one? Oh, it's just one. Oh, is there two? Yes, there's two. Okay, there's the two. I was like, there's two. Okay, so these are gonna get hooked up. And this stuff right here, we're gonna zip tie. Actually, might be able to zip. I'm actually gonna go. I should be able to zip tie this. Actually, I'll be able to zip. So I'm gonna put these. These go right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook those up, and then try and zip tie the rest of this stuff up. You do not get trapped in this. Okay. So what I'm being very careful of here, guys, is that cables don't get intertwined as I start cable managing. Okay, so I'm gonna zip tie those here in a minute. I'm just gonna get all my front panels hooked up. So there's that. Okay, down here, I have another pair of RGB here. Okay, there's that. So we have RGB. Okay, so front panel that we have down here is we have Nothing here, we have these. Okay, so we need this. These are all gonna be not twisted up. We want these all independent. Push this up a little bit. Okay, there's that. Front panel connectors go there. Those don't go there. This, okay, now what we need is, we need this. This is our fan hub. It's just like all the stuff that you have to hook up to make all this stuff work. We're just getting it all kind of front paneled, hooked up and ready to go. Okay, so this right here, also gonna go down to the bottom here. Okay, there's that. Then we need our USB. Okay. There's our USB. Okay, whoopsie. And lastly, we need an RGB. Luckily, there's an RGB down here too, so we'll be able to split that and pl plug both of these into this. Which will be great, what we want. And this, okay, that'll split, okay, so. This and this are gonna get plugged into this. Okay, so this is gonna be, so we need this and this down there. 
Okay, that's USB. This is not something I need this, which is front panel. Okay, almost our front panels are almost done. Oopsie. You need to stay in, please. Okay, there we go. And then finally, we're gonna grab this right here. Take this out. And that'll take care of this one. And this is for the front panel, like the, the little light in the front. Whoa. Okay, so there we go. There's all our front panels. Okay, there's all our front panels run through. Okay, so that's everything to hook up to the front. Everything else is ready, and then once we get all this stuff hooked up, then we can cable management, connect our, our cable, I mean, connect our, connect our fans and be good to go. But everything should be ready to go. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try and hold this stuff in as we flip it over. And then you connect all the mass of wires on the other side. There's all our mass of wires right there. All right, first one. These are the two drives that he needs. I'm gonna hook these up. There we go, there's one. There's two. Drives are hooked up now. There's our USB-C. There we go. Okay, now this is our USB for our head or fan header controller. I mean, and we need RGB, which is all the way over here, unfortunately, but not a big deal. We'll get it plugged in and wish it was a little closer here. Yeah, that's not one. Okay. Whoa, 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 come on. Okay, that goes down there. There's our system fan header for that. Okay, and then we have our HD audio. It's supposed to go all the way over here. Come on, there we go, okay. HD audio, which goes way over here. And then finally, front panel connectors. Hard drive, reset next to it. Power, plus and minus. Okay, there we go. Front panels are all hooked up. Okay, now for this one little funky cable, I'm hoping that we can make it just long enough so we don't have it popping out, but. RGB. There we go. Okay. Okay, good. It's just short. It's just short enough. Okay, I'm going to just to keep this looking nice. I'm going to do one zip tie right down here. So you want to just keep this short. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Now you can't see that. There we go. All of our cables are plugged in. Now we can cable manage on the other side. Whew. Guys, we are super close to this now. Now, before I do this next step, I'm gonna go ahead and install our bottom group of fans so we can run those cables in. And we'll actually have most of this stuff done. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. And that'll be all nine fans installed.
Actually, I'm going to put this down here. That's right. Okay. Put that like that. Click it in. Why is it not staying in? Not do something here. There we go. Okay, cool. I'm gonna screw this bottom one in. Why is it not screaming? No, it's right there. I was like, where's the other screw? Are screwed in now okay now our fans are in we can just finish our back side <laughs> that sounds dirty we're gonna finish the back part of this and then put in our gpu and our psu and actually be in good shape because we have all of our everything's ready that's what pretty much what the front of this it's very close to done oh Ugh. okay now what I can do, that I have this stuff managed, is this is gonna be used, oh, I forgot about that one. One cable I didn't, okay, so I'm gonna tighten, put that up there. Okay, these are gonna get zip tied together. So I'm gonna grab my collection, my collection of zip ties. Luckily this is nowhere near as many cables as uh, nowhere near as many cables as a uh, freaking Saturday's build. Get all our big cables out. You just want your big collection of zip ties now. Here's our middle group there. Easy. This group, I want it all along the side here. Where's my small, that's what I was looking for. What we're doing is just making sure that things stay looking clean. This is what we want. Thank you. 
There we go. Okay. So that's out of the way now. I wish there was a way to... Okay, cool. Now, these, I don't want to do a whole lot more yet. Actually, this I can do. This and this. Okay. I'm going to just do like a little elbow here. A bigger clump here. Where is my bigger ones? Let's use my big ones. Okay, get a couple big ones in there. Get this thing out of the way. Okay, we're getting really close here. Okay, there we go. Now these, I wanna wait until I get, I gotta get my fans plugged in, so we're gonna figure this out right now. But let's get this stuff kind of, we got we got a lot kind of cable managed here. Okay, so let's get these kind of cleaned up. we go there you go nice and clean looking okay okay now let's get our fans hooked up figure out where these things are gonna be able to plug in at There we go. There we go, there we go. Okay. Now, fans. We just need our fans in the fan box, which is, where's the fan box? I was like, where's the fan box? Oh, there's the fan box. Okay, here's our fan box. Now we have three sets of fans here. Gotta figure out where these are gonna go. So I'll make these two. There we go. Uh, okay, that's fine if we do it this way. Okay, there we go, there's that one. Now we have another set right here. Make these four. There's four. There's four, uh, I think I might have to do might have to make this three. There we go. I don't know if these are like the uh, Corsair, right? Which you have to do in order. Okay, there's three. Oh no. Got one cable messed up. Well, I'm not really worried about it. Okay. Okay. These are the last two, this is the last set of fans and these are gonna be one. I'll figure out where we're gonna put this on the bot, like where we're gonna put this on the, I actually have the room right there, I might put them right there. Okay. I'm gonna make sure we have enough room for. There 
There we go. Okay, let's grab our sticky. Oopsie. I'm touching this. Let's not do that. There we go. Okay. Last bit of backup con connections here. I think we can put this in here. Maybe not. One change to this we want to fix. So I'm fine with this, but. There we go. Make sure it's clean looking. I'm gonna make sure everything looks clean, right? Okay, plugging this in. There we go. Last. Center. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. Now what we're gonna do, run this little bit up here. Okay. Short, Shorty McGordy one here. Come on. There we go. Okay, making sure our cable management looks clean. Okay, getting everything kind of. Okay, so there's that one. Let's see what we got here. It's kind of in a weird. Just getting the last little bit of. Ah, come on. Cable management under control here. Okay, now I can pull these out. This is all stuff I don't need. This is like the power, oh, I need to plug that power in here in a minute. 
Okay, this is all to this bottom part here. So we can start scrunching this up. Luckily, it's all kind of ready to go here. We're all about the same length. There we go. I'm a little worried there that, but if I do it like this, it should be. There we go. You don't want to do it too close to the. There we go. That leaves us all we had to do is do the power. Okay. Okay. There we go. Then one more. Right here, and we're done. Okay, now I can run this last little group of cables here. Okay, and then, okay. Almost done, guys, with the cable management side of this. Because the other, once we get to the power supplies, that stuff's just get cable managing itself. But this part is just making sure things are together and managed and look nice. And yeah, that's what you want. Well, looking managed and nice. You know? Now, probably there's some people here are like, why is he taking all the time to do this? But if you were spending this kind of money on a piece of hardware, might as well make it look good. Here in the back. There we go. Okay, last little group of cables, which is right here. And that'll be the last of the fans here. And they are just, they should actually already be pretty close to clumped up there. Oh, yeah. Pretty easy, because they're like right here. That's not for that. All I need for that one. And there you go. Looks pretty clean. What do you guys think? You want it clean? I'll do one more right there. What do you guys think of the clean? What do you guys think of the cable management? Very clean. Good. Who else takes this kind of time with their cable management? Anybody else? Anybody else take this kind of time? Good. Okay, so there's this. We're gonna plug, we'll actually go, we'll have one of these that's gonna plug. You gotta figure out which one I gotta plug in. I think it's this one actually. So we'll plug this in. That's our, for this drive set. Oops, one more little dangling thing here. Oopsie. Now we got, now we can turn this over. We only have a couple more things to do. We gotta turn this over, we gotta hook this up. 
like this one, like, I forgot about it, but not a big deal. Then we gotta, all we gotta do is plug this in. I think it goes right here. Oh, there's this that will power in a minute, but this goes right here. And then we'll zip tie that up, but let's turn this over and get our power in. I'm gonna shove this whole thing in and then we'll worry about it later. Okay. So now it's extensions, GPU, and we'll actually have Wait, wait, do we have a third? Does this not have a third RGB? Something, something. There's a JRGB there, but it's not, a, it's not, it's a, it's not, I need a three pin. Oh, wait, there's one right there. Okay, cool. I was like, I knew there had to be another one. We can do those later. Keep those under control. Okay, so we have one more. The RGB is in the wrong place. It's down here. I was like, what? There's, there's gotta be more than one. Urgh. Okay. Let's take this, and then this goes right here. Right? Yep. Here's our RGB. The okay, RGB is hooked up. Let's zip tie this two things real quick. That's annoying. Make sure that our, well, our cables look like crap. Front either. Turn this around, shove it in this little slot. I'll keep it controlled. Okay, do that one, and then we're done. All the little diddly, little diddly dumps. There we go. Now, for cables. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Time to get our cables done.
Okay. Thank you very much for the super chat. I think Blondie's going to send me all these. I want to say thank you to all the people who did super chats. I'm going to see if Blondie actually texted me then. She might not have. That was a lot. Uh, no, she has not. But thank you for all those super chats, guys. Actually, hold on. Wait, I can get them. What? Let me just look at the site. Hold on. Let's say thank, let's look, thank you to the super chats. One sec. I'll bring them up right now. Let's say because there's been a lot. 262 subs, too. Thank you very much for that. Okay, super chats. So thank you very much to uh, love the work, man. Good to, to whoever wins. Thank you very much. Love the build. Keep it up from zero. Michael Dingwall, thank you very much for the uh, love the build to keep it up. Thank you for the M.2. Nice boot drive for my buddy, Michael said. Um, hey, it happens. It's been that kind of day for me too. Dropping the show support. Thank you very much for the $10. So thank you very much for all those super chat guys. Even the people who just sent me little messages. I appreciate it and your support. That is not going to do me any good. Okay, that is a thing. These are not going to do me anything. Okay, grab that. There we go. This is a GPU one. Okay, let's get our, this is gonna be kind of interesting, right? Because the way that this, this thing works. There's actually not a whole lot to this extension. It goes like right here. Interesting. That won't show a certain way. This is quite the uh, quite this version of I wish you a Merry Christmas. go there we go one more there it is Okay, cool. There we go. Nice simple thing there. Now for this, one thing we are gonna do different on this one is just because I wanna make sure he has both power cables is we're actually going to use the PSU stock cables, given it's black and white, to run these. That is not a PSU cable. There we go. And I have two of these. Push these up. Okay, and we have one more, which is in this box. Where's the other SATA? PGA. PGA, okay, don't need that one. BGA, there's our three BGAs, but another C, there it is. Okay, cool. To showcase the back I.O. 
Oh, you want to see the back IO? Okay, yeah, I can show you that here in a minute. Let me uh, get this. Let me get this little thing, and I'll show you guys the back IO here in a moment. There's a lot of back IO, but we'll get there in just a second. Let me get this. Let me get this installed. It's getting. It's already 9:15, and we're not even. We still have a lot left to do, so we had to bench test this thing, and so it made it a little bit different. Come on. Gosh darn it. Okay, there we go. So what I'm gonna do here is run these up. They'll run like that. Ah, dude, that looks like I don't know if I like that. I think we might. The problem is, is that I don't think. Hold on one sec. Let me see, what you, see what's going on here. Let me pull these through the back. Ugh. I was going to run them up, but I don't want to do that. Actually, hold on. I forgot we had these. I think there's, is there, is there a hole up there? Yes, there is, but I don't think I can get anything through it. No, he can't, okay. Well, maybe I can, hold on. No, it's just that much too high, no. So one thing about the other board is that the CPU power is on the other side. This board doesn't really do well with, but I can bring them pretty high up. They don't get shown all that much. Where's my... Okay, there's CPU cables. Okay, so that's done. Okay, cool. It takes care of that. Okay, let's take our zip tie. Zip tie up there. There we go. Okay, cool. There we go. And then we'll hide that too. Clean again. Okay, cool. That looks clean. One more right there. Now I'll give it a pro look. this and give it group like it's grouped together. There we go. Okay, cool. And then we'll rip that around and it'll give a good clean look. Okay, cool. 
There we go. Looks good. Okay, so there they go. CPU cables are plugged in. PSU's cable plugged in. Now what we're gonna do, technically his build is done. He is not doing anything else to this, but we're going to put in a 3090 just to test it and boot it up. But this is how his build is gonna get shipped because he is not, uh, he's gonna get his own GPU. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and wire it for a 3090 because that's what he's gonna be installing at home. So let's go ahead and put a 3090 in it, put our PSU in, power in, and then go from there. Okay, so, and we'll run all of our PSU cables out of the side here. We, we might be able to run them down here. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so we're gonna grab our 3090 here. Everybody say PSU time. PSU time. Woohoo! Oh, there we go, PSU time. Or sorry, GPU time, my bad. Sorry, GPU time, not PSU time, GPU time. Okay, GPU, this is our RTX 3090. So we're gonna get it into the build here. Okay, not cheap. I don't know why I'm saying PSU time. Okay, there we go. This is my... I love this, there it is right there. GeForce RTX, this is the Tough Gaming 3090. Okay. Okay. When we turn this over, after I hook up the GPU, I'll show you guys the, uh, he wants to show off the uh, IO. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is let's get this installed. Where's my, there it is. It goes right here. Okay. Oh, beefy boy. Oh, this only requires two, uh, two connections. We'll uh, add a third. We'll add a third for him. Just have it kind of in the back, but this one doesn't actually require more than that. Oh, cool. There it is. Top down. RTX 3090. Okay, there's that. I just need... GPU cables. No one has that is not that is not what I was looking for. I think we can run these down here. See how many of these we need. I don't know if this is like maybe, I think this actually might look better from the side. Okay. 
Okay, let's put our, you know. This so was looking for us like where is the where's the thing? this case I think the one thing that's kind of rough is like if I were I think like using if I was going to put a 3090 in this I'd put like the Oris or the EVGA I wouldn't even do the Strix I do like an Oris or an EVGA 3090 just because they're so thick that they just take up more room I think the case kind of looks weird with um, like a thinner card like this um, but it'll work for you know for now um, and it's still I mean it's not like it's a terrible looking Thing. It's just saying it's like the room, the case is so roomy that uh, I think it almost works better with just a more roomy build. I mean, roomy case in roomy uh, uh, GPU. There you go. You know what I mean? Yeah, you need like a thick card. Which is great. I mean, that's what this this is what this case is for is like a thick card or for a lot of a lot of stuff to fill it up. You know what I mean? Like custom water cooled or stuff like that. So which is always which is always better. Okay, there's four. See, that didn't work the way I'd hoped it would. This is gonna look. I don't think it's gonna look very good, is what I don't think. Come on, stuck on down here. Uh, sorry, stuck on something down here. Oh geez, there's a lot of cables right here.
Okay. Now we can show you the rear I.O. Okay, now I think, because everything else is done, the build is done, so let's show you guys the rear I.O. because we wanted to show that off a little bit, and then we'll uh, finish hooking this up and be, uh, we're at the very end now, PSU time. Okay, so here is, I wanted to show this off, here's the rear I.O. for you. You can see that there's a crap ton of rear I.O. here, like literally just a crap ton. Uh, basically VR ready, uh, what, eight? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 freaking uh, connections right there. It's like basically a lot of USB right there for uh, for uh, his uh, use and entertainment, so to speak. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna finish doing our PSU now. Um, we did plug in the RGB, so yeah, everything's ready to go. Now it's just basically the end of the build here. Okay. That's our CPU, there's our PSU, I mean our PSU. Let's grab, we have one other cable to plug in. Our VGA is down at the bottom. This is our power for our fan hub. This one goes in here. Maybe not, I go this way. Okay, so there's that power. Power, CPU using, let's just get our PSU in, which is actually mostly ready. Need a couple cables from it, but nothing too crazy. Okay, so we need definitely a lot of SATA here. We need one, two, three, Three SATA, right? Three SATA, okay. Okay. There's four on here, but we might use one just for these two, just to be safe here. This needs to get quick. Okay, cool, that's done. Okay. 
There we go. Now, let us plug in our stuff for our PSU. That's what we got to do. Should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we have left here. Okay, here's our PSU ready to go. Okay, so we need our V, we need our SATA. And I want two of those just to be safe. There's one. Okay, VGA, we want a couple. Like one, we want two, like two total here. There's one, and then this one will allow him to plug in. We'll have one, so he set up for a 3090. So I'll have a VGA one and a VGA two. Is that VGA? Didn't I have one already unplugged? I was like, yeah, I was about to say, I was like, yeah, I have one ready for him. There we go. Okay, there's another VGA. Okay, so that'll set him up for a 3090, any one he wants to use. Then we have our CPU and CPU 2, which are already in here, so. Oh, well, let's get, let's grab one more SATA just to be safe. Nobody wants to be SATA if we don't have enough SATA. Okay, there we go. Okay. There's our SATA. Oh. Okay, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. That came undone. There we go. Okay, VG. The thousand watt PSU. Plenty of room. Okay. Grab everything out of here. Okay. This is it. PSU is gonna plug, we're gonna screw it in and then it's done. Screw it in and zip tie it all up. Okay, get this PSU in. There's one screw. Oh man, it doesn't smell like anything. I think it's been aerating. I think I, I didn't. I think I let it sit out too long. I didn't because I I did the test at the beginning. Right, we ended up bench testing this. I think it let it sit out, so it lost that smell. There we go, one more. And then, it's time to plug this all this stuff in. Okay, PSU's in. Now, all we gotta do is grab this stuff, since this one's ready to go. This is CPU one and CPU two. These go right here. Come on, baby. Okay, cool.
Okay, the CPUs are hooked up. First one. Next up, let's do VGA, because they're down here at the bottom. Then we'll do SATA. Oopsie. SATA out of the way. VGA 1. VGA one. We're gonna VGA VGA both of these together. So let's grab our second one here. And we'll grab them and have them all cable managed together. He can add a cable extension if he wants. And he gets his second 3090. And he gets his 3090. There you go. Okay, next group. Last, we only have a little bit left. All we gotta do is hook up our PSU. 298, so we almost hit 300. Okay guys, so we are getting dangerously close to doing that last giveaway for the GPU. I mean, sorry, for the $150 new egg gift card. So we wanna get that, we wanna get that last, we wanna get those last subs. Now's your chance. If you don't, it's all good. So let you know, we're close. This is really like, we're probably 15 minutes left of the stream. Tops. And then we're gonna find somebody to raid. Hoping uh, Blondie's got some raid targets tonight. I know we, we were gonna raid, uh, we had a pretty cool one last week and then uh, uh, we ended up having to, we ended up raiding uh, Awesome Hardware, which was perfect. But uh, yeah, try to find little streamers or little, not little, little isn't the right term, smaller streamers, let's not say little, smaller streamers to do this, to, 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 to raid and help grow. So. Now remember, if you're, if you're here and you're, you're watching this at the very end, there's only 24 hours. We, we actually lost quite a few. It's late though. Um, but if you're, uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're hanging over at twitch.tv slash uh, Newegg or you're over at uh, youtube.com slash Robitech, we do have the sub only giveaway that's happening this month. Uh, it's in the month of December. And that giveaway is, uh, we're giving away a 3060 Ti, a 3070 and a 3080 to three different subs. So all you gotta do is sub, if you're over there, pop on over, use your uh, free Prime subscription um, and then uh, that gives you tier one and then you're automatically uh, in good shape to basically get any one of those prizes at some point in time. So uh, if you wanna get in on that, it's a great opera, good, great way to do so. And then if you wanna get extra entries, if you're like, man, I'm greedy, I really wanna get, I really wanna win, you can always uh, gift subs like a ton of people here have done today. Um, or um, you, can, uh, you can gift subs or you can uh, subscribe for multiple months that gets you extra entries. And then finally you can do, uh, uh, tier upgrade your tier and that gets you the most extra entries going to tier two or tier three. So as an FYI Okay, let's go this way Okay, so now all of the drive bays are powered so he didn't want to he has them powered So if he wants to add more drives later they have power this into this and the last okay last thing guys last cable coming up last cable last cable this is it the end it's here I mean I feel like there's one more no is there only two? Is there only, okay, there's four, so here we go. These are, these should be the last two. That's the fan. And this is the RGB for the bottom. And that is it. We are done. Okay, and then 
Just got to make it look nice. Last part of this whole thing is I'm going to do all that and then skimp at the end on the last, last one. Okay, cool. And there we go, guys. Nice, clean-looking build. Very clean and, and cable managed as well. So it's easy to get to. He's got an additional... So uh, I know you're watching this right now, Burn. Uh, uh, all you got to do is you got to add a cable extension to this right here. That would get you your last cable extension. You could just cut this zip tie, and then you could add your third cable extension for an additional 3090. But you're, you're good for any uh, three-slot powered card. So there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's just test that the cable, this is what it will look like. This is what I'm talking about, clean. Look at that. Look at that. How is that? Huh? How is that? You barely like, you barely see anything. I'm just saying. That looks good. That looks good. No, it's not, dude, it's not as, but look how like, like even if I took this off, this looks nice. It's even if I took it off, it looks nice. But the thing was is that it is so, it looks, it's so, it, I did it that way. So when you do put this on, it looks that much cleaner. Now I should, before I tighten this down, make sure that my GPUs don't look freaking wacky right now because there's a very good chance it does. Yep, that's what I was worried about. No, it actually doesn't look that bad. How did that do that? Hold on one sec, guys. Ugh. Before we do the big reveal. Ugh. Oopsie. Hang on. Okay, cool. Now, cable looks okay. Let us close this up. Well, put this on real quick. Turn this on, just a few seconds. I'm just gonna seal this up real quick because this is now in good shape. See, where did I knock over? Oh, probably knocked over that thing I've been waiting to. Okay. Last screw. Okay. And now we put it up and it weighs a bajillion pounds still. But it is ready. It's ready, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go, guys. There's our build. There it is right there, ready to go. Okay, here we go. Let's pop this in. Let's grab all our stuff. Last bit. Okay, turning on our power. And turning on our power. And there it goes. And boom. And there you go, a fully built PC. What do you think? Looks good. Lights down, done. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lights down, here we go. Oh, he loves it. He's letting me know he loves it. There you go, guys. That looks so good, that looks so clean. There you go. I don't know, it, but it is, it has only two eight pins. I also understand the 3090 Founders Edition actually also only has two eight pins. So. There you go, and I'll give you guys a little bit of a, so you guys can get some different angles here. Uh, there's a little bit of a different angle for you so you guys can see a little bit more of the and then the, you've got the you got the RGB on the front too, but yeah, there's the whole build. Uh, it's already posted. Here you go. It's just sitting on the BIOS right now because we got it to work all before. It'll pop up in just a second. But yeah, it has posted. We already we we did, we already tested that. Well, hopefully there it is. And there's the post ready to go. But yeah, first built. So so. Today, I'd say that this was a very educational experience. Um, if you guys missed the, I think some people probably missed the entire stream, but we uh, not only did it, we also actually, uh, we actually did a, a, a bench test of this beforehand because we had to, to make sure the, uh, to make sure that the, uh, the whole thing worked, that to flash it so um, it would work. Um, so that's what we were doing before. Um, so we got all that stuff done. And then after that, uh, here, let's go to side camera so you guys can get a nice other side view of it. We'll get the side view of it so you guys can see a. There you go. There you go. Back it up a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So there's some... There you can see the entire build as, as it is right there and good to go. Looks really good. Okay. Yeah, the XMP right now, guys, it's just set to, it's just set to, uh, it's all defaults. We haven't put the OS on it or anything like that. Yeah, but we'll get that, we'll get that all done. Now what we're gonna do is uh, get ready for the, uh, get ready for the final bit, which is, uh, we're gonna do that giveaway. What I'm gonna pop, what I'm gonna do real quick though, is I'm gonna put this away. And we're gonna start our giveaway in just a second. There we go. Okay, get ready for the giveaway, but give me one second, guys. I'm gonna go grab. Okay. 
we'll start the giveaway. Ugh. Okay, turn this off. It's super quiet. Get ready for the giveaway, ladies and gents. I'm gonna give it, you have until I start this to get this last bit. If somebody wants to make it happen and get the last number of, of subs, but that is it. I'm just letting you guys know we're super close to the giveaway. Like this, or okay, here we go. Letting it completely drain. Cool. There we go. Now, okay, let's start the giveaway. This is for the very end of the whole thing. I super appreciate everybody being a part of this today. Thank you for all the subs as we get closer to the whole thing. You guys want me to give it like three minutes? I'll give it three minutes till 10. We'll give it to three minutes. No, the prime subs are counting. Everything is counting. I'm watching people count. So we're like, I'm watching it go. I'm glad you learned a lot, guys. I'm glad you learned a lot. 10 o'clock, man, that's a late, that's a late stream, but it's done and it looks great. So there we go. We'll give it a couple more minutes. We'll give it we'll give it two more minutes, guys, and then we'll we'll do the giveaway. Next. Install. We're gonna let Windows install. I'm gonna start my install here. Okay, so yeah, just to get a recap real quick, what happened today? Uh, basically, oh, and what's happening? So no stream tomorrow. Next stream is on Wednesday. Uh, we are doing Wednesday. Wednesday is uh, is one of the. Uh, I I don't remember all of the people. Um, we have a lot of we have a lot of we have three more builds left. I know Aussie Pete is one of them. We've also got uh, a build for um, I think Aussie Pete is Thursday. So I think those are all the builds that we have this week. So we got four more, three more builds. Aussie Pete. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the the gift to the sun that's happening this week, and then finally we have another uh, one on Wednesday. They're all very different. So we got a fan, we got an Evolve X build, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, and then uh, that's it. There's no stream this weekend, and then there's another stream on Monday. That's the Mod Monday stream with Intel, and then there's one more stream on Wednesday, and then we're going away for the holiday break, and then we have Monday, Wednesday of the next week, and then we're away for New Year's break, but. Well, that Saturday after New Year's is probably when we're going to do one of those three builds. We'll build a PC that we'll be giving away uh, right on stream right afterwards. So it should be absolutely awesome. So we got some really great stuff still coming up. Anyway, guys, we are going to do the giveaway. It's nine. Well, we'll give it one more minute. I don't think we're going to get 60, but I super appreciate 340 subs today. That's massive. Thank you for being so awesome and so amazing to me and my family and the team that works here so hard on making sure this is great. Don't forget to check out CD keys if you want a cheap Windows OS key. Uh, that is there for you as well. Um, but right now, let's start the giveaway. It's 10 o'clock, heck of a stream. Here we go. Everybody say thank you, Newegg, because honestly, they are the ones who make a lot of this stuff happen. This is a $150 Newegg gift card. Um, say Everybody say thank you, Newegg. Is what we're about to do now. Okay, so here's how the here's how the giveaway works, guys. I'm going to tell you the entry to get to do the code. I'm going to tell you the entry to enter the game to enter the giveaway. Wow, my mind is mush. Tell you the code to enter the giveaway. It's going to run for three minutes. 
You only need to enter once. Don't spam because if you spam and you get timed out, then you won't be able to claim your prize, okay? You just want to enter once, okay? And then if you're over, you got to be, if you're over on twitch.tv slash Newegg, unfortunately, you got to come over to twitch.tv slash Robitech to enter. If you're on my YouTube or if you're on my uh, Twitch here, you're fine. Okay, guys, starting this now, it's going to go three minutes. The entry code is exclamation point Newegg now, exclamation point Newegg now. That giveaway is happening right now. And Windows is installing, guys, just so you guys know. So there you go. Everything is good. The build is working. Look at that. There's our, it's going to pop up. There's Windows installing. So everything's good there. We're all in good shape. Another successful build for Ruby Tech. That's what I can do now is I can throw these on because I, know, I now know it all works. There we go. Boom. Looks so good. It does, it looks so good. Such a great looking build. Just saying, it looks really clean. Ooh, I like the way that looks. <sighs> okay, it's restarting after its first Yeah. We'll have the giveaway winner in just a few seconds, guys. Updates are going and installs are still happening. Giveaways ending in 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds. We'll draw our winner. Good luck to everybody. That looks so good. Yeah, it does need a sag bracket, you're right. There's a little bit of sag on there, just now that I get to see it from here. So yeah, a little bit of sag, but that's okay. It's like, it's just for, uh, it's not his build. So he'll put another one and he can do that. Okay, guys, congratulations to Celio Man. Celio Man. Celio Man. Congratulations, Celio Man. You are the winner of the $150 New A gift card. Congratulations, my friend. Hope you uh, enjoy spending it. We'll get you that code here and... Uh, just at the beginning of January is when we hand out all the giveaways for that stuff. Okay, guys, well, we're going to do a raid. We're going to go raid somebody. Uh, this is where we got a small streamer. We got um, uh, we got uh, Middle middle Ditch. Uh, he started he started in Silicon Valley, Middle Ditch. Apparently, he started in Silicon Valley. He's, got a, he's playing Cyberpunk, so let's give him a raid. And uh, let me find him real quick. M-I-D-D... L E Ditch. There he is. He's playing. He's got 641 people. Oh yeah, this guy. Okay, well, let's raid him. Uh, he's a he's a famous streamer, guys. I mean, a famous art uh, guy. So he's playing Cyberpunk. Should be fun. Let's see. Uh, let's see how it goes. And uh, thank you very much for hanging out. And we will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Congratulations.